Hello folks, welcome to the Irish Whiskey Review with me, Marty McCauley. Today we are reviewing an old classic, Paddy, Paddy Irish Whiskey. Now, this is one of the sort of, if you like, old brigade of Irish Whiskey. They, there's so many new brands appearing on the market just at the minute uh, and it's great it's fantastic they're all appearing out now they're, they're they're coming out thick and fast every week people are bringing out new expressions new uh, cask finishes new labels new bonders new bottlers that all happening this this has been around for a very long time now it says on the label established in 1719 1779 sorry whoops uh but back then, it was called, <coughs> excuse me, the Cork Distilleries Company Old Irish Whiskey, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Okay, so that was what they used to send around. Now at that time, it would have went out in in casks and sold by the cask to the publican, who would then sometimes doctor it themselves and put in sort of weird flavourings and. And all manner of stuff. So it it was very popular, and it's quite a it's quite a weird blend. Honestly, the, the the recipe for this, if you like, it was a blend. So what they did was they sent it out. People bought it in casks, and then they they dished it out by the shop. Now, moving forward, they started. Lots of other people, other people began to do this, and, and lots of other people copied it, selling it by the bottle. Now, in 1882, the Cork Distillers hired a whiskey salesman called Paddy. Paddy, sometimes you read as Paddy O'Flaherty. On the bottle, it's just Paddy Flaherty, okay? So it's not O'Flaherty, it's Paddy Flaherty. Now Paddy, being an astute salesman, realised that if he gave away some free samples, people would get a taste for it and think, well, that's quite nice. Rather than having to part with their own money, he would go around and say, drinks are on me, a round's on me, and the bar got a free shot of whiskey. So this proved really, really clever, really good. And the pubs then started to order the drink. When they were ordering it, they would have sent round a note or sent an errand boy round, uh, possibly if they were very wealthy and high class establishment, picked up the old telephone and would have said, send me round four cases of Paddy's whiskey. Okay. So, uh, Cork Distillers Company Old Irish Whiskey became in 1912 Paddy whiskey. Now, lots of people call it Paddy's, but on the bottle it says Paddy. Now, I think it's getting a rebrand because everybody calls it Paddy's. If you're ordering one in a bar, people will just say, give me a Paddy's. So I think there's a little bit of a rebrand coming in the not too distant future. Now, this has been a stalwart of the Irish whiskey trade for, for a long time. It survived all of the apocalypse that happened to Irish whiskey and it stayed on. Now, why did it stay on? Well really it's really approachable, really easy to drink. Uh, it's quite, it, it doesn't have any real complexity and, and I have to say this, it's really cheap. Okay. In terms of value for money, it's right up there with, it, with the best of them. This cost me I think £19 for this bottle. Now, when you consider the tax, the good old tax man has to be paid. Tax on this is about £11, just shy of £11. The tax on this, take that away from the cost, we'll say £11, £8 is what this bottle, and when it was full, that's what that cost. Now, that's the bottle, the label, the, 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 the cork, the contents. The skill it took to make it, the transportation cost, the shop profit, the, everybody has to get their cut out of this. Eight pounds. 
that is some seriously good value for money, if it's any good. Now, for one out, now Paddy always has a bit of a special place in my heart, which is what a good whiskey should have. No, bit of a healthy pour there, I didn't mean to pour just as much as that. Paddy, I, one of my dearest old family friends was a man called Paddy Flaherty from down uh, Connemara direction. Uh, lived not too far away from me when I was a child and moved over to a place called Canby Island in England. And he lived there until his unfortunate death a few years ago. And many, many a good time I had with him. Many's a good drink I had with him too. Just a gentleman, just a lovely, kind, funny, decent soul. And uh, so for that, this gets a, 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 a a substantial boost in in terms of um, what I think about. Now remember, folks, all of this is always just my opinion. You know, whatever I say, it's just it's just my interpretation of a whiskey. I'm just imparting what I think of something onto you. And if you and if you value it, or if you if you think I know what I'm talking about, good. Um, or if you think bloke hasn't a clue. Equally good. It's fine. Now, on the nose. I will just tell you, Paddy's is a mix of pot still, single malt, and uh, green whiskey. Okay? So it's... It, the green content's quite high in it. But it's aged. It is aged. It says it's aged up to seven years. That's that's what it's purported to be. Um, I'm going to say it's it's a little, probably a little bit younger than that. Most of it's going to be a little bit younger than seven because it kind of it doesn't have that sort of roundness that, that a lot of Irish whiskies take on when they're aged that little bit longer. It's a little sharp. Um, there's quite a lot of the, the sort of sharp floral notes coming in, again coming from the green whiskey, um, it's quite light. Uh, lots of lots of sort of apple, lots of wood coming in on it. Um, so, the, so what that would tell you is the wood, ha the, the the wood, the oak has taken in, has really gone with the 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 the, the spirit to round itself out, if you know what I mean. Per perfectly acceptable it's 40 percent as it's always going to be at, at, at the price that it's at again it's quite light you'll there's nothing offensive about it cereal floral wood nothing complex nothing complex about it at all again on the palette Quite clean. It's it's got a surprising um, uh, a decent sort of roundness in in the mouth. It's quite light. Uh, there, there's not a huge punch of flavour from it, but it's very approachable, easily drinkable. It's again, it's that cereal. Uh, Apple. There's no real vanilla to it. Uh, the wood's coming through again. Okay, so there's no real complexity. It's very, but it's very clean, um, and, and easily, easily drinkable. Anyone who like, likes a whiskey will, will probably be able to drink this. This is not in any way offensive to anybody. Again, it's what you're going to expect from an Irish whiskey. It's that light, very approachable, uh, easy drinking. You could, with this, you wouldn't necessarily sit and just sip this uh, as an, of its own. Um, but it's really quite easy. You could see how people would make this into 
I'm a, a little hot whiskey, you know. And, uh, certainly, you only stick a little bit of ginger or something in it. A little touch of water probably would, wouldn't uh, hurt it too much because uh, you're not really taking away huge amounts of flavour. Um, you probably open it up a little bit with a little touch of water in it. On the finish, a little bit of pear, a little touch, a little touch of mint coming in there. That quite light cleaning out. Um, not a great finish to it. Doesn't last any real length. And again, the cereal and the wood. But it kind of works as that sort of quintessential Irish whiskey. So it, it, it's taking you with that uh, story to it, the, the presence of, of Paddy himself. And in my case, a slightly, slightly exaggerated story of that. Um, it, it's quite sweet. A little, if I'm honest, a little saccharine sweet for me. Um, a little, almost artificial sweetness to it that I don't particularly, don't particularly love. But um, it is, it is an old classic. This is something that most people would have had about a cupboard uh, for a special occasion. Normally in Ireland, the funeral, uh, old grannies would have had bottles of this. Someone dies, out it comes, and people have, and then people have good memories of it. Um, <laughs> that sounds daft to anyone who's not from Ireland, but uh, I, I know lots of people, me included, uh, who much prefer a funeral to a wedding. If, if funerals, if a man's had a, if it's a man or a woman who's had a really good life and you know everything's just reached the end of their lives and everybody sits down, you break out a drink. You have a wake, and for anyone who's not from Ireland, who doesn't know what a wake is, the body's laid out in normally in the sitting room or a, a, a bedroom or some, somewhere in the house, and people sit with the body. <laughs> it comes from the old times when they were scared in case somebody woke up, in case they weren't actually dead. So people used to sit with them. And what happens then is everyone comes round and they... And they all say, you know, I'm sorry for your loss. And everybody has a sandwich and a cup of tea during the day. And then as the night wears on, people go, well, we have a wee drink. And, you know, yeah, 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 no problem. And then someone will either nip to the off license or down will come. The, 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 normally, and I say this, this is tradition, normally the lady of the house, if, if she's alive, she'll reach in, I've got a wee bottle of party up there. And she'll bring it down. And everybody starts having a drink and then you start to reminisce and you tell stories and everybody and once that starts to happen people people start telling do you remember the time he did or do you remember the time she and he did such and such and it just starts to flow and you just have the best laugh uh, and those are really special intimate times that, that that's what i love that about whiskey it brings that out in people it gives them passion and tells them stories and it's funny and it reminisces and every time you taste something or you smell something it brings it back that's what I, you, you can't pay for that you cannot have those kind of experiences artificially created it just doesn't happen and something like this is all part of it nearly everybody uh, in Ireland who, who has a drink will have a story like that at, at funerals or wakes or whatever and they are just fantastic you cannot recreate it Paddy I I, I would say I have a great fondness for it because of my, my old um, dear family friend uh, so am I marking it if I was marking it myself just as a as an objective observer um, uh, 5 out of 10 6 out of 10 maybe As a, because it's, it's good value for money maybe 6 out of 10 but because I have a special affinity for it I'm going to bump it and give it another point uh, and that's me being totally biased um, 
and I'm entitled to be <laughs> because that's 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 the, the Irish whiskey review. You're entitled to do these kind of things if you have a special affinity for something, and that's what I like about this. Um, the whiskey itself, it, it's perfectly drinkable, not fabulous in any way, shape, or form. But there's a reason it lasts. It it's very drinkable, very easy. You can order it; anybody can drink it. But for me, it has a special place, and uh, and that's my old. My old family friend, Paddy, and wherever you are, Paddy, this one's for you, my friend. So I hope you enjoyed that whiskey, Irish whiskey review, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We need the numbers, and, well, then you won't miss anything. So, listen, take care, and Godspeed.